I see. Okay. No. Hey. How come your camera's not working? Go over with Tiago. Awesome. You about ready to start, Sensei George? I like everybody's ready with their nunchuck. This is awesome. Sensei George, can you hear me okay? Sounds good. Good, good. good. Kids are looking great, man. Everybody's ready with Nunchaka. Awesome. Yeah. Stay in that zone there. Give yourself space so you're not against each other. Good deal. Thank you, Sensei. You guys and girls all ready to start? Diego, raise your hand. Yes. You ready to start? You guys ready to go? Is that Diego? George? Tiago, Diego, T I A G O. George? Yeah, I'm Tiago. Probably... There you are. There you go. Go. Cool. Okay. Y'all ready to start? David, looking good? Okay. We good, Sensei George? We're ready here. Cool. Great. Well, thanks for joining us, you guys. You all look great with your nun nun chaka. And so let's see. Um, with the right hand, <clears throat> downward figure eight. Take your left hand, put it on your solar plex. There we go, guys. Good. Downward figure eight. Downward figure eight. Right hand. Right hand. There you go. We're learning how to control the nunchaka. You got to start somewhere. This is a good place to start. Sensei George, this little one to your left. Sensei George, little one to your left. Uh, yes, if they could hold it in the middle, it would be a little easier for them. Hold it in the middle. Figure eight. And then figure. So try to swing it around one side. When they get tired with one hand, switch to your other hand. <laughs> Tabor, reverse, uh, make that downward figure eight. Downward figure eight. Not a circle, Tabor. One downward figure eight. Tiago, try to keep that in front. We're not looking to go from side to side like this. We want to keep that circle in front. Tiago and your partner. Yeah, I need to see a little bit more. There we go. Let's see your figure eight. Good. A little bit more wrist. Ah. Hold it like you mean it. There you go. Diago, your partner, solar complex. Tiago, Tiago, can you hear me? Tiago, your partner, Soloplex. Where did you see that? There we go. 
You want to um, tell him that he can do this? Well, is it the they can be from yeah. arm on their own count when they get tired. Wait, let me. He doesn't have a thing. So we can. We'll just show it to him. Is the camera on? Yeah. Okay, we're trying doing figure eights. Uh, are you interested in watching this? I'm watching what? The martial arts thing? Okay. You can just see what they're doing. You don't want to do that one? Okay, you sure? Favor, try doing downward figure eights with right and left hand. Downward figure eights. Oh, no, because he can't participate. Okay. Right hand, left hand. Switch off on your right and left hand. Do you need any help here? Good. 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 Reverse figure eight. So we're building up this stuff. First, you just the other. Switch to your other hand if you get tired. All right, guys, when you're doing your figure eights, you want to keep them in tight at first. It's almost as if I'm doing Wing Chun with my hands, okay? But when I put the nunchuck in, I'm just doing a figure eight right in front and reverse figure eight right in front. And then try with the other hand, with your left hand, downward figure eight, reverse figure eight. Or the one that's coming down in front. Oh, okay. Move that up the way. I don't want it to hit your bottom. Right now it's almost all risk. Sensei George. Sensei George. Blue belt in the back. They're getting bored. Tell him to hold it in the middle of his grip, middle of the stick, middle, not the end, middle. Okay, and now let's see some speed. You got it. He's he's moving his arm too much so he can get tired. Keep that elbow still. Jesse George, blue belt in the back. Instead of his elbow going side to side, very tiring. Okay, try keeping it right here. You see that? Joy? There you go. And reverse. There you go. A little more wrist. White belt in the front, if he can hold that more middle grip, it'll be easier for him. Your little white belt in front. Go faster. Diago looking good. Tiago, your left hand, solar plex, your left hand. You had it right, you had it right. Okay, good. Now just keep this hand a little bit more in front, 
Little more in front. There you go. A little more wrist. Okay. Stop a second. Stop, Tiago. Hold up your hand. Hold up your wrist. Your your nunchaku. Nope. Okay. That's what I wanted to see. So you see this thumb. Your thumb. Okay. This thumb has to be wrapped around. Wrap your thumb around. There you go. Okay. Now do the technique. Downward figure eight in front. Left hand solar flex. Left hand solar flex. Okay, good. Relax. Now in front. Hold up your right hand a little bit more. You want your those two strikes to come through your solar plex. That's up around. You feel the difference, Tiago? Tiago, you feel it? Not really. Not really. Okay, you should feel it in your shoulder. Okay. Those are foam nunchucks because they're super light. Okay, okay. And your partner to the left, ask her to do the same, please. Tiago, your partner to your left. Who, what's the name? Yes. Left hand, very good, keep going. And two or eight in front. Hold your right up a little, right arm up a little bit more. Tiago's partner. I don't know your name, young lady. I'm sorry. It's Maria. Maria. Okay. Maria. There we go. Arm, your right arm up a little bit more. What you're looking to do is cut through your solar plex, right in the middle of your chest. There you go. Except try not to move your arm so much. I'm just moving my wrist, right? I'm not doing this, I'm doing this. Okay. Hold it like you mean it, Maria. Grip all the way around. None of this. We're not doing this. Okay. No thumbs. Got to wrap that thumb around. You too, Tiago. Wrap that thumb around. Tavor, let's see it. Tavor, instead of swinging down this way, okay, get this arm up. There you go. There you go. Maria, try to keep your arm a little bit more stationary. Try not to move your elbow side to side. Switch arms, you guys. Don't wait for me to tell you to switch arms. Don't get tired, too tired on your right arm. Switch if you need to. Yeah. Looking good, Izzy. Hold up your right arm a little bit more. Get your solar, there you go. Good on the solar plex, very good. You guys, I think of this, the knuckle right here on my thumb and I attach it to my solar plex. It puts my hand in a good spot. Good, Izzy.
All right, folks, I, I see the, the kids from DD school, okay? Watch where you're putting your hands, your reaction hand, since they get them to put it on their solar plex and figure eight in front. You should be working your arm and your shoulder right here. Eighty school, spin. Either you're spinning your nunchuck up or your other hand is attached to your solar plex. White belt in the middle, DD school, two of them. Reaction hand, solar plex. Switch from right hand to left hand, forward and reverse. Try holding it more in the middle if you're getting tired holding it on the end. All right, guys, hang on for a second. I'm going to demonstrate an air break. We're going to make the difference between an air break and a body break. We're going to go in a horizontal direction. Um, take your strong hand, hold it in middle grip. Take your left hand, hold it underneath like a baseball bat. We're gonna hold this 45 degrees like we were holding a katana, for example. And we wanna hit, bounce off of our arms between the shoulder and the tricep right here. I want you to feel this on your arm. If you have foam nunchaka, it might be a little light for you. Okay, now without touching your arm, I want you to swing from side to side and let the nunchaka swing and just stop in midair. Stop in midair, try to control it. Control where that nunchaka ends up in the air. Now drop your weak hand, your left hand, put it on your solar plex and side to side. Very good. We should have this in the right hand, young man. Stevie school. Brown belt in front. Right hand. We're in the right hand right now, side to side. This is an air break. Whenever the nunchucka stops in the air, that's called an air break. When we bounce it off of our body, it's yes, called the body break. Bounce it off our arm, off our waist, off our hip, off our foot, off our neck. That's a body break. You can practice all kinds of body breaks as long as you don't hurt yourself. We're not looking to slap ourselves we're looking to roll over that part of your body. Okay, now with your good hand. Um, all right, switch. Basic strikes, basic strikes. Everybody ready? Good, get into a short, forward stance or a nice diagonal stance, okay? Left hand on your solar plex. We're gonna rest the nunchaka on the right arm. We're gonna do two diagonal strikes and end with an air break. Downward diagonal one, downward diagonal two, and air break right here on the side. Upper diagonal one, upper diagonal four, excuse me, that's one, two, landing where we started. 
Let's try that again. Downward diagonal one, downward diagonal two, end in an air break. Upper diagonal one, upper diagonal two, end on your arm where we started. Again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What do you think comes next? Horizontal. Five, six. Again, hitting the same part of your arm that we were touching before. Five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six. Five, six. Again, from the top. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, over the right side, over the right side, white belt, right side. One, two, three, four, five, Six. What's next? Vertical. Seven. Eight. Okay. Let's watch this vertical. When we do this vertical, I'm going to go into more detail of the vertical in a second, but do the vertical to the outside of your body. Outside of your body. Don't try to go in between your legs and don't hit yourself in the knee or your ankle. Go to the outside of your body. Seven, eight. Try that vertical a couple of times. Up and down. Up and down. Again, from the top. Downward diagonal one, downward diagonal two. Air break. Upward diagonal one, upward diagonal two. Land where we started. Three, excuse me, five, six. Horizontal. Seven, eight. Vertical. Next one. Nine to the eyes, drop so uh, drop to your turtle, knees, knees, stand up again to the eyes, come back to where we started. That's 12 basic strikes, very similar to Tambo with a little twist. We could worry about the jabs later. Again, from the top, soloplex, stance. Downward diagonal, one, two, three, four. Excuse me. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine to the eyes, drop. Turtle stance, knees, knees, stand up, come back to the eyes, land where we started. Again, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to the eyes, 10, 11, stand, 12. Back to natural stance. Very good. Let's see that again. Right side, stance, solar plex. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to the eyes, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good, Tiago. You got it. Again, dance, solar plex. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Let's say we try that with the left side. Okay. 
and two, left stance, right hand, solar plex. Holding the truck in the left hand, left hand, your other left. Round bound front, DD school, your other left. In front, DD school, your other left. Left hand, left hand. <laughs> Over your arm, solar plex. One, two, three, four. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, horizontal, seven, eight, vertical, nine to the eyes, 10, 11, stand up, 12. Very good, one more time. Left side, stance, check your solar plex. Left hand, downward diagonal, one, two, three, four. That was my fan. Still working. Four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine to the eyes, 10, 11, stand, 12. Very good. I'll give the count again, left side, left side. Ready? Solar plex, stance, downward diagonal, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to the eyes, 10, 11, 12, One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to the eyes, 10, 11, 12, and back to where we started. Very good. Any questions? Tabor, you getting it? Tabor, you getting it? Tiago, Maria, any questions? No. You got both, no. Sides? You got both sides? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's take apart a little um, more detail on the vertical strike. <clears throat> Excuse me. The vertical strike. You want to hold this middle grip with your right hand. Bring that up and down on the outside of your body. The same spot, remember what spot we were hitting on our arm right here below our shoulder. I want to hit the top there and the bottom there. Top and bottom on the outside. Brown belt in the middle in DD school. Hold it a little bit more middle grip. Brown belt in the middle, DD school. Hold it more middle grip. There you go, much better. Good. Now, when you get this on the outside of your body, I want you to now focus that to the center line of your body. You all see that? Again, we're doing two body breaks. We're breaking over this side and this side. Now I want to add a body break and an air break. We're going to break over our shoulder. We're going to air break down here. I want you to try this vertical strike on the outside of your body. 
breaking over the back of your arm and air brake on the bottom. Y'all see this? When you get this on the outside of your body, then start going towards the center line. Let me see the right side, Maria. Now go more center line, Maria. More center line. All right, folks, relax a second, DP School. I see you getting a little uh, antsy there. Demonstration. Y'all can watch the camera for a second. I want to demonstrate a three-dimensional figure eight, and we're going to take a piece of that. As I demonstrate the reverse figure eight, I'm going to take that reverse figure eight and turn that on a 45-degree angle. Uh, you're not going to want to try this. You want to watch this first, you guys. Okay. Then another 45 degree angle, and I have a horizontal figure eight. I'm going to show this to you in a minute. Another 45 degree angle, and another 45 degree angle, and I have a downward figure eight. If I take that downward figure eight and on another 45 degree angle, and another 45 degree angle, I have reverse horizontal figure eight another 45 degree angle, and I'm back to where I started. Reverse figure eight. Did you see that sensei? Sensei John? So we're, Sensei John. <laughs> okay. We're now going to try the horizontal figure eight. So everybody grab your nunchaka in the middle grip. And what I want you to do is make a pizza on top. If you all have socks or foam nunchaka, now's a good time to get them. Anybody come to class with wearing shoes and socks? If you did, I highly recommend you go get your socks. You're gonna take one sock, roll it up, Put it in the other one. I got you, Izzy. Okay. It's the same motion. So you want to make a pizza on top. Okay. You all have to pay attention at this point. Everybody has to have it in the right hand. Everybody raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. Nope, the other one, pal. Not both, right hand. Just the right hand. Not both hands, just the right hand. There we go. Very good. Now, take your nunchucker, put it in that hand. Spin it over your head like a pizza. Nope. <laughs> okay, right hand, like a pizza. Okay, we got to learn to control this to make it horizontal. Okay, when you're spinning this, you want to spin it natural. Um, I guess this would be clockwise. <clears throat> clockwise. Okay. Now, I want you to take that nunchaka, right? It's vertical like this, right? Okay. I want you to turn it down. Turn it down. Hold it like this. Very good. Now we're going to stir the spaghetti pot backwards. There you go. There you go. Stir that spaghetti pot backwards.
good, you guys. Okay, so we have the circle on the bottom. Stirring the spaghetti pot <laughs> backwards. <laughs> nice job, and we have this pizza on top. And we're gonna to try to connect the two and make it horizontal. It's got a pizza on top, stir that spaghetti pot backwards on the bottom and try to connect the two. For your more advanced ranks, this is a horizontal chop, ridge hand. Horizontal chop, ridge hand. Good. Now let's take this horizontal figure eight and turn. Turn around. Okay, All right. what we're looking for here, guys, before we hit too much of the walls, we're learning to control this horizontal figure eight. Okay, that allows me to turn around and keep the nunchaku moving. But then I have to be able to go the other way, right? So we have to learn to reverse the horizontal figure eight. So we can go around the other way. So let's try that. Let's take that pizza that we were making on top and make that pizza backwards. Pizza on top, backwards. Very good. Now stir the spaghetti pot regular. Turn that nunchaka down like this, your right hand, okay? And stir that spaghetti pot regular, regular, how you normally would stir that spaghetti pot. Okay, reverse pizza on top. And regular spaghetti on the bottom. <laughs> okay, guys. George, how's he doing? He, look, he looks about as big as a nunchaka. The little one in front. Okay, so little one in front. This one, George, you want to stir the spaghetti pot regular. Spaghetti pot regular, just like you normally stir the spaghetti pot. And the pizza is reverse on top. So on your own, try this regular horizontal figure eight and turn around and then try the other one coming around the other direction.
George, that blue belt in the back is doing very good. George. The blue belt in the back is doing very good. He's experimenting with that. Just tell him to keep, keep that circle going. Try to get a little bit more horizontal. Both of them are doing very good. Ooh, yin grip, yin grip, I like that. All right, you guys, demonstration for a little bit. Relax for a second. A little bit review. Can you hear me okay, George? You can hear me okay? Okay. A little review. Downward figure eight. Reverse figure eight. Horizontal figure eight. And horizontal reverse figure eight. These are all parts of the three-dimensional figure eight. Again, learning how to control this. And these are just little exercises so that when we start moving with them, we can add those circles in easier. Anything to interject, George? Uh, with your hands are getting tired, make sure you're not at the end of the nunchakus. Choke up on it, get closer to the rope. That'll make your hands less tired and you can switch hands as well. And also if you keep hitting your body because it's just kind of big, that'll also help you not hit your body. You'll notice how close it is to the rope. Yes. <clears throat> you have to be able to adjust your rope the length of your sticks. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the 12 basic strikes on the right side. I wanna make sure at least you know these 12 basic strikes that you can do them without hitting yourself or anybody else, okay? Holding nunchuck in the right hand, short stance, Left hand, solar plex. Ready, downward diagonal, one, two, upward, three, four, horizontal, five, six, vertical, seven, eight, to the eyes, nine, turtle stance, 10, 11, stand up, 12, to the eyes, back to where we started. Very good. One more time, then we'll go to the left side. Downward diagonal, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, to the eyes, 10, 11, 12. Very good. Put them in your left hand, right hand, solar plex. Stance, downward diagonal, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to the eyes, turtle stance, 10, 11, stand up, 12, back to where we started. Again, I'll talk you through it. Downward diagonal, one, two, air break on the bottom. Three, four, back to where we started. Five, six, horizontal. Seven, eight, nine, to the eyes. Turtle stance, 10, 11, back, stand. Again, 12 to the eyes. One more time, left side. Downward diagonal, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to the eyes, 10, 11, 12. Very good. Right side. Uh, Sensei George, if you have a school, um, if we can get a couple of lines so that the kids can move. Uh, Didi, it looks like you guys are crowded. Um, but if we could take short steps forward with each of these strikes, I think it might make it a little bit more interesting. Ready on the right side, left hand solar plex. We're gonna be shuffling forward with each of these strikes. So watch the person in front of you and do not hit them. <clears throat> <clears throat> Short right forward stance, left hand, solar plex, 12 basic strikes moving forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to the eyes, drop, turtle stance, 10, 11, stand up, 12, back to the eyes. Good guys. Now, left foot is behind, return, turn opposite direction. Same technique, moving forward. Downward diagonal, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's vertical. Nine to the eyes, drop. Turtle stance, 10, 11, stand up, 12, back to where we started. Return, same technique, moving forward, right side. Uh, let's make that left side. Switch, put the ninchoka in your left hand. Left foot in front, right hand, solar plex. Downward diagonal, one, two, upward, three, four, five, Six, horizontal, seven, eight, vertical, nine, 10, moving forward, drop turtle stance, 11, 12, stand up, back to where we started. Return, same technique, moving forward, left side, downward diagonal, one, two, three, four, five, six, horizontal, Seven, eight, vertical, nine to the eyes, 10, 11, 12, stand up to the eyes. Very good, return this direction. Very good, you guys. George, how we doing? Everybody good? Good deal. Um, now, moving into some more techniques, pass catches. You've seen Bruce Lee do this. You're going to love this one. Um, take the ninjaka, put it behind your neck for a moment. Take your right hand, move it up and down. Right hand, up and down. Very good, Tiago. Maria, right hand, Maria. Right hand, Maria. There you go. Good. Now, left hand, up and down. Very good, take your right hand. You wanna keep your hands flat like knives, okay? Good knife edge. Take your left knuckles, put them on your right elbow. Good. <clears throat> now take your left hand, bring it up, right hand, knuckles. Right hand up, left hand, knuckles to the elbow. Left hand up, right hand, knuckles to the elbow. Right hand up. Left hand knuckles to the elbow. Left hand up, right hand knuckles to the elbow. Right hand up, left hand knuckles to the elbow. Right, left hand up, right hand knuckles to the elbow. Right hand up, left hand knuckles to the elbow. Left hand up, right hand knuckles to the elbow. Right hand up, left hand knuckles to the elbow. Right hand, 
up and down. Grab your nunchucka, hold it down, bring them up behind you, bring your knuckles to your elbow and catch. This is called the pass catch. Take your right, excuse me, your left hand, hold on with your left hand, open your right hand and bring it to your left side. Right hand, knuckles to the elbow. Drop your left hand, bring your right hand up, left hand, knuckles to the elbow. You want to bring your knuckles to the elbows to protect your elbow and open your hand to catch the nunchaku. Try that on your own count. Working left hand, side, side. That's going to be difficult with the socks, Izzy, but you're doing really well. That's, that's it. When we get some sticks in your hand, you'll be able to get that. Good job. Good job. Good, Tiago. Maria, keep going. Okay, Maria, what you're trying to do is catch the opposite nunchaka. Maria, you can see me okay? Maria, you can yes. see me okay? I'm grabbing this other nunchaka when it goes down to my, underneath my elbow. So catch, there you go. And then drop your left hand, your, your opposite, this hand, drop this hand and bring it to this side and catch. Are those foam nunchaka, you guys, Tiago, Maria? What? Are those foam nunchaka? Yeah. Are they really light? Are they really light? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes it makes it difficult, actually, because they're so light, there's not enough um, not enough weight to carry it into your hand. So it makes it, it almost makes it bouncy. But keep going, Maria. Keep going. Maria, keep going. Good job. Okay. Yeah, we need to make those a little longer for you, Maria. They're, those are a little too short. A little too short for both of you. Both of you. Okay. Master John, Sensei John, Sensei John, you, you see the difference between uh, some of the lengths of the nunchaka that the children have, the foam nunchaka with the uh, long string, it makes it a little bit uh, clumsy. You see what I'm saying, Sensei? John? The foam nunchaka. Can you hear me okay, John? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Some of the kids with the foam nunchaka, uh, they're so light that they, it almost makes it bouncy when they bring it back here. If you, you look, your student behind you. Um, if you could get them to, to catch that in the same spot each time, it might be helpful. All right, you guys, let's start moving a little bit more with this technique, okay? Let's back up a little bit. Give yourself some room to move, okay? Watch the person in front of you. 
and we're going to do this pass catch under the arm and reverse figure eight and catch reverse figure eight and catch reverse figure eight and catch so back up ready position should be in the right hand and as we move forward we're going to do a reverse figure eight step forward reverse figure eight left side reverse figure eight in the left hand reverse there you go reverse figure eight in the left hand and catch and step forward and reverse figure eight reverse figure eight there you go and catch good step forward and reverse figure eight and catch and reverse figure eight moving forward You having trouble with this reverse figure eight, Tiago, Maria? Are you having trouble with the reverse figure eight? No. Okay, no. use the reverse figure eight. Uh, that's downward figure eight, you guys. The other way. Okay. Um, do we have some questions about the reverse figure eight, you guys? Master John? Sensei John, are they getting the uh, reverse figure eight? All right, let's go to the re reverse figure eight for a second. If everybody can hold their nunchaka in the right hand, nunchaka in your right hand, okay? And I want you to spin this this way. Uh, back up a little bit, Maria and Tiago, so I can see your ninjaka. I want you to spin it on this side. And now on, I want you to spin it the other direction on the other side. The other way, Maria. The other direction, Maria and Tiago. The other direction. There you go. Uh, Maria, I can't see your ninjaka. There you go. Good. Now the other side, Maria. And Tiago. Okay. Now try putting those circles together. Tiago, Maria. We have a circle on this side and a circle on this side. And we're trying to make even circles on the other side. Reverse figure eight. Try holding it in the middle. Keep going, Tiago. You got it. Are you getting it, Maria? I think you're going back to downward figure eight. Try reverse figure eight, Maria. You got it, Maria. Keep going. There you go. Okay. Okay. Okay, everybody back up, ready position. <clears throat> We're gonna try the underarm pass, this underarm pass catch. If you know the reverse figure eight, I want you to do it. If you don't, I just want you to swing a couple of circles 
and catch. Swing a couple of circles and catch. If you know the reverse figure eight, do it, okay? As we move forward, ready, the right side, right hand, holding, left hand underneath. Moving forward, left, reverse figure eight. And catch, moving forward, right, reverse figure eight. And catch, moving forward, left, reverse figure eight. And catch, moving forward, right, reverse figure eight. And catch. Moving forward, left, reverse figure eight. And catch. Moving forward, left, excuse me, right, reverse figure eight. And catch. Okay. Moving right along, let's go back to the down the uh, basic 12 basic strikes. I want to drill this into your head so at least you get this much. And George, we're watching you guys. Okay. Starting with the right side first. We're gonna move with this. Okay. Right stance, left hand. Soloplex, moving forward, 12 basic strikes, downward, one, two, upward, three, four, horizontal, five, six, vertical, seven, eight, to the eyes, nine, to the knees, 10, 11, 12, coming back, stand up. Very good. Return, opposite direction, moving forward, right side, downward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and stand up, opposite direction, left hand. Left hand. You got a question, Tabor? <coughs> uh, can you unmute Tabor? Tabor, can you hear me? for unmute. Uh, so I have to go. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for coming. Th thanks for the wonderful class. Oh, well, it's my pleasure. I hope you have a great rest of the weekend and we'll see you next year. Also, I hope your fan's working. <laughs> Oh, yes, yeah, so far it's still working. <laughs> that was the side bang, huh? Yeah. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Okay, you guys, sorry about that. <clears throat> Left side, middle grip, right hand, solar plex, moving forward. Ready? Left hand, downward diagonal, one, two, moving forward, three, four. Horizontal, five, six, vertical, seven, eight, nine to the eyes, drop turtle stands, 10, 11, stand up, 12, back to where you started. Very good. Are we, George, are we bowing out? George? Something we have till uh, one o'clock. There's a lunch break from 1 to 1.30. Uh, what time are we? We're 1.30 already, George. 
What time are we? Hang on. Sorry, that's central time. Time um, zones. Time zones. We have another 25 minutes, but it looked like you were you were um bowing out there. Rosario, how are we doing? Sorry, I, I was trying to unmute. We're working on it. We have a mixture. We have some socks, some cambos. The uh, your awesome. your figure eights were definitely tough, but they do have the four, the twelve basic strikes pretty well with both hands. Very good. So, is this a blue belt in the middle there? Uh, no, it's all purple belts and yellow okay. belt. Okay. Purple belt. So the, that uh, chain is a little long for him. Yeah. Yeah. These okay. were the only okay. ones we had, but yes. Be careful with that. Okay, thank you. Sure, sure. Looking good, looking good. Cool, okay. So let's just double check these um, strikes again. Right hand, right side from a stationary position, left hand, Soloplex, ready, downward diagonal, one, two, up, three, four, horizontal, five, six, vertical, seven, eight, nine, to the eyes, to the knees, 10, 11, stand up, 12, coming back. Um, okay. Okay. I'm going to throw something else out there for you guys. Okay. Figure eight and a half. This figure eight and a half will allow us to go. Say bye. Hi. Hi. They have to go. They're done, Sensei. Okay. The blue no belts will stick it out with you. Don't worry. The blue belts will hang in there. <laughs> okay, come on. Is that Terry? Oh, you want to stay? Uh, my mommy says so. Okay. So you turn your socks. Okay. Okay. Freeze. Terry, can you hear me? Um, corn dog, please. Terry? Okay. Um,
Okay, who, this is Ethan and Evan in Alaska. Okay, how you doing? How's it working? Are you guys getting it? Oh, there's another person over there. You're, can you come over a little bit? So I, I can get you both, there we go. Okay, um, how's Alaska? Going good, awesome. Back up just a little bit. Okay, step step over a little bit to, to your right. There you go, perfect. Okay, can I, I didn't get to see you before. Can I can I see your stuff? Okay, let me see your uh, downward figure eights. Oh. Okay, which one's Ethan? Okay, and you must be Evan. Okay, good deal. Yeah. Oh, we can show him the mirror so he can see us from the mirror. Okay, both of you, take your your this knuckle of your your thumb and put it on your solar plex. There you go. Good. Okay, Ethan, put your right elbow a little bit more front in your the center of your body. There you go. Figure eight. And reverse. Okay, follow what he's telling you to do. Somebody stand. Do somebody stand in front of the computer and somebody stand down here. There you go. Hey. Yes. Um, elbow. Uh, solar flex. And reverse. Oh, he can see us. Oh, and a little bit more. You want that to cross. Um, you want to have a good circle on this side and a good circle on this side. And this, this is what I'm looking for. A little bit more in front. You feel it in your shoulder yet? Ethan, Evan, you feel it in your shoulders yet? Okay, then you're doing it correctly. Okay, switch to the other hand, other side, other hand. Standing Good, hold the lip a little bit more, Ethan. There you go. And reverse. A little more fluid, Ethan, in your left hand. Okay. It's going to take some practice. It's going to take some practice. But the socks are a great tool because you can sit on that couch and you can watch some TV and play video games with one hand and work on your horizontal figure eights with the other hand, right? Because you're coordinated. Okay. Very good. Speaking of horizontal figure eights, let's take the right hand. Left hand, solo flex. Stay with me, Tiago. Tiago, do you have some socks? Maria, do you have some socks? Huh? So, so, some socks that you can go get? Go, go get some socks. It might make it a little easier. Pair of socks, Tiago. Socks. Uh, my dad's getting them. Okay. Um, Want to work on this horizontal? Figure eight because this horizontal figure eight Ethan uh, and Evan, will allow you to turn and move. Look, look, there's two versions of me and, on the screen. And it's a little safer with the socks. <laughs> okay. Evan, a little bit more horizontal. Okay. You guys, you're blank. You've learned horizontal chop, right? Both of you learn horizontal chop, okay? You learn rich hand. If you get that horizontal chop, this first one will be horizontal. I have to go perfectly horizontal to make 
the nunchuck could go horizontal. Look, look, look at the thing. <laughs> Left hand, Ethan Evan. Left hand, solar plex. Ethan Evan. Left hand, solar plex. Sorry. There you go. Okay. I'm, I'm looking in the camera and the picture that you're seeing, I don't think is 100% correct because mine, it's hard to make it look in the camera. I have to, you understand horizontal? You know what I mean, George? Because of the angle of the camera, it looks like I'm doing it funky. It looks like I'm doing it at a, at a slant. Yeah. Wait, they can do anything on the no, we're not on me. What? But when you look straight on. <laughs> okay, so put your other hand, you guys. Ethan Owen. Yeah. Uh, Ethan, your left hand, solar plex. There you go, Evan. That's it. Relax your wrist. Let it go around. There you go. That's it. There you go. That's it. Okay, now, Ethan and Evan, before you, I totally tire out your arms, okay? <laughs> um, I want you, <laughs> we got to get together next, next year, okay? So um, I want you to be able to turn, okay? Look how I'm pivoting, and this will allow me to turn and keep the nunchucka moving. Nice, you guys. Keep going, keep going. Nice, Evan. That's what I'm talking about. Soloplex, left hand. Left hand, attach it. There you go. Awareness of your body. Good, Evan. Ethan, very nice. Keep it horizontal. There you go. Looking good, you guys. Uh, how much time do we have? Okay, you ready for a challenge? Now, Ethan, <laughs> so we're going horizontal one way, right? Okay, your right hand. I know you'll be tired tomorrow, but it's okay. Okay, now I want to go the other direction. Okay, so we're gonna make, we're gonna stir um, the pizza reverse on top. Stir. And on the bottom, stir the spaghetti pot regular. Regular. Uh, other way. There you go. Good, reverse pizza on top. Reverse pizza on top. You can go to your left hand, Ethan, if you want. And regular spaghetti on the bottom. Okay. And you want to try to connect those two. So there you go. Ethan, I'm sorry, Evan. <laughs> your arm getting tired? Is your arm getting tired? Okay. Switch to your other hand and try that other, that same technique with your other hand if, when one arm gets tired, but both of them will build it up before you know it. And try the reverse. 
You'll know it when you get it because your reverse will be horizontal. Tiago Maria, where's the socks? Socks. Right Try these techniques with the socks, you guys, because um, sometimes these foam nunchuck, they're so light, you're not really getting the weight, the, the mass of, of, of what you need to make it spin. Okay, relax you guys. I don't wanna to totally kill your shoulders, um, but you get the idea. You wanna be able to spin horizontal in one direction and then reverse horizontal in the other direction. So you can go both this way and this way. Make sense? Yes. Um, I think that that's enough for one day. Okay. Uh, Gavin, I'm going to call this. I'm going to cut class. All right, everybody. Um, right, George, what do you think? Seems like everybody's kind of all over the place. Um, forward figure eight, reverse figure eight, practice your 12 basic strikes. Try the horizontal figure eight, forward and reverse, so that you can move around. Practice with your socks. It's a real good weight and mostly you always have it with you. And, um, and we'll see you next year and we'll get some proper nunchuck in your hands and we'll really work it. I hate this. this. Okay. Um, all right, everybody. So um, Sensei John, Terry, I'm going to cut this. Okay, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, have a great rest of the day. Bye. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Sensei. Sorry, I was just showing people some stuff. Thank you. No. Thank you. Sensei. We'll see you next year. Sensei Jerry, I'll tell you, this is the first time I've ever gotten this. And I did it with a sock. There I remember taking your class. And I'm like, I can't do this. And then today, all of a sudden, I could do that. <laughs> awesome. You made my day, Ritz Terry.